Dinusha here and welcome to another podcast by Insight Website Design. Today we're going to have an awesome podcast tutorial. We're going to create a wall made entirely out of videos. Basically a video wall. Let me show you a quick uh, demo here, the final uh, product we're looking at. See how exciting it is? This is exactly what we're going to create today. Now, uh, if you stick around for this video podcast, I'm going to send you a free pizza. That's right, a free pizza. And this is one of those videos you're going to show it to your friends and they're like oh my god how did you do it because it's so cool alright let's go ahead and start the video now oh by the way uh, there's no free pizza I just uh, use that to get your attention so I uh, just want to make sure no pizza okay let's go ahead and get started uh, for this project, I'm going to use, uh, first of all, I'm going to use uh, Final Cut Pro for my video uh, editing application. And you can use any video editing application you like, uh, Adobe Premiere or anything else out there that you're familiar with. What we're going to do is uh, on uh, the Premiere, on your video editor, we're going to uh, get the clips and we're going to align the video clips put them right next to each other then we're gonna do export and then on the second step we're gonna use Apple's motion software to create the actual video wall and for the video clips you can use any source uh, YouTube uh, anywhere doesn't matter where you get your clips uh, make sure they are not you know copyrighted make sure your clips are free clips uh, that you can use on your non-commercial video okay for the clips I'm gonna uh, use all my clips going to be uh, 320 by 240 pixels now you can go like you, know, you can even make them even smaller uh, but for the tutorial I'm using today it's gonna be 320 by 240 clips and on my uh, library here I already have my clips loaded as you can see a lot of clips and here down my timeline I have my video clips uh, loaded next to each other and make sure when you uh, align your clips there are no gaps between the clips if you have it if you have any gaps on the final video wall you're gonna see some blank spaces so if that's something uh, you're going after that's good if not make sure there are no gaps and each of these videos for this tutorial I'm gonna be uh, using five second uh, intervals so each video here is 5 seconds in length now if you can go with uh, 10 seconds 15 seconds it doesn't matter it's all up to you but for this one I'm gonna use 5 seconds and make sure each video is 5 seconds long exactly alright let's zoom out here I'm just gonna play you this uh, just gonna play this real quick just to show you how it looked like all right, we got a stealth fighter there, and some night vision footage, some other clip. Now I can go ahead and scrub this, just to give you a preview. All right, here's what we're gonna do. After you get your clips all aligned correctly, go ahead and use uh, export to export your video to uh, either a compressed version could be a, a MOV file, MP4 file, or a H.264. H264 uh, doesn't matter or you can export the video uncompressed a raw video file for me I always use uncompressed 
because at the end of the uh, final compression I will get like a big uh, not really big but a higher quality video for a low file size so it's all up to you uh, go ahead and uh, export your video with your video editor and here on my Final Cut Pro I'm just going to show you real quick you can uh, export the video as a QuickTime movie or you can use your um, uh, Final Cut Pro's compressor for a more advanced export alright let's go back here Now my video is exported. What I'm gonna do, we're just gonna go to uh, motion software. So this portion of the video is done. Let's go to motion right now. All right, we're on motion right now. Uh, I'm just gonna go to file, new, and here on my preset. I'm gonna say I want to create a preset. I'm gonna actually choose a preset. Uh, this HDV 720 progressive 25 frames per second. That's what I'm gonna select. And you can s just select any of the presets. But for this video, we're gonna choose this one 720p 25 frames per second. All right, let's go to our media library here. Click the media library here, and I'm just gonna import my video we just created on uh, Final Cut Pro. Here it is. All right, bring it back, and here's the video. And I'm just gonna drag the video and go down to my timeline and there's a group already created for me by default on motion I'm just gonna drag that and drop that into my default group there you go that's a video you can scrub around mm -hmm. it's the same video and on this timeline I'm gonna use uh, the timeline length is going to be 10 seconds long. Yours can be as long as you want, but uh, on this video, we're going to use 10 seconds. All right, now what we're going to do is we need to, uh, you know, make multiple video clips. To do that, we're going to use the replicator function on motion. To uh, get the replicator working, first go ahead and select your video on your timeline. Now, there's three ways you can get the replicator. Number one, you can go to uh, your object menu here. Let me zoom in. And you can come down here and say replicate. Or you can use your keyboard uh, shortcut. Just type L and it'll just pop up there or you can come up here and click this button and it will create the same replicator so you have three options doesn't matter which one you use I'm just gonna go ahead and click this and as soon as you're done you're gonna see we created a replicator on the timeline alright we're almost there. 